Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on how to navigate the admin console and main menus of the Touchpoint survey app running, in this case, on an iPhone. And I've projected my iPhone screen onto my uh, laptop here, uh, sitting right above the survey manager. And of course the survey manager uh, works in, in syncs with our series of Touchpoint apps, whether they're running on iPads or Androids or kiosks. Uh, it's a cross-platform solution, so it's device agnostic. But let's focus on the main menu, and here you'll see at the bottom tab bar of the home page the admin uh, button, the survey button, which takes you to back to the survey, and the info page. And I'm going to click on the admin button here and uh, type in the password. And you obviously aren't seeing my fingers in action since it's projection projecting onto the screen, but I. I think you'll get the message. I'll use my mouse as much, most I can, as much as I can to help. Uh, so here we have the survey details, which obviously gives you the details of the sur survey running on the device, and we can have multiple surveys running simultaneously. Connect to server will download a new survey or upload results manually, which happens automatically at the end of each completed survey anyway. And we have multiple ways of pushing and pulling surveys to the device. Settings adds messages, which is uh, if you wanted to run digital signage on your device, especially if you're using an iPad or an Android tablet in a kiosk mode, that's a really great feature. My profile uh, is my particular uh, profile, um, and I'll show you that in a second. About tells you the version of the application running on the device, and exit takes you back into the survey mode. So I'm going to select um, survey details here. And you'll see we have uh, only one survey running on the de this device called Sample iPhone Survey. And I'm going to click that, and it takes me to the menu giving me all the underlying details of this particular survey, with the name of the survey, the total count. Now, the counts are zeroed out here, both complete and incomplete, since we record both types of surveys. Um, they're zeroed out because we're running in real-time mode, and after each survey, it gets uploaded to the survey manager. Uh, but if we were running in offline mode, this would keep a running count of any surveys stored on the device. Uh, number of questions, this particular survey has eight questions. It's active and the date and start date of the survey. And the question timeout's 3,300 seconds. And this is uh, uh, really useful if you're running in kiosk mode because the way uh, this timer is set, so if a survey question is left or the screen is not touched, on a survey question for 300 seconds in this case, it will time out and restart at the beginning of the survey, avoiding another respondent coming up to a partially completed survey and completing it. And this is, you know, when you're running, like I said, kiosk mode or a, a, an unattended device mode, let's say, since it doesn't always have to be kiosk, it could be wall mounted or counter mounted. So I'm gonna click the back button to go up a level and one more time to get back to the main console. And connect to server, we talked about if I wanted to sync with the server, I could do that manually. Although we can use push notifications, we can push or pull, we can schedule automatically, as well as, as I mentioned, this automatically syncs with the server after each survey is completed anyway. So settings, let me go ahead and touch that uh, menu. And uh, the settings gives us several options of how we want the survey to appear on this device. We can have progress in a counter form, like question one of eight, two of eight, etc., and or a bar, progress bar, to indicate the progress of the survey so the respondent knows where they are in the survey and how long the survey is. Do we want to include a back button so the respondent has the option of stepping through or backwards through the survey to see and review how they answered the survey questions? You can turn that on or off. Location services, do you want to be tracking the coordinates, the GPS coordinates? And all of our reports have a mapping component so you can see when and where uh, geographically the device was when the survey was completed if this is turned on. Um, <clears throat> and then push notifications. Uh, does this device allow push notifications? Uh, device info, let me go ahead and select that that gives you even more detail of the particular device's serial number, which is the unique ID for the survey manager to track devices. Now, what location is this particular survey in? And you can have multiple locations uh, on a device, by the way. Uh, the device, current device time, system idle timeout, we talked about that already, homepage timer, multimedia time limit. For example, if you're capturing media like uh, video, 
and our system, our app, supports images, video, as well as voice recordings. Um, this will limit the video or the voice recording to only up to 30 seconds to limit the file size, but you can control that. And we're in single survey mode because uh, we only have one survey running on this device. And the account name, as you can see here, OM test is correct. I'm in the actual survey manager account that this device belongs to. So I'm going to click back button, go up one level, go up another level. And so we talked about settings, adds messages. Um, I don't have any ads or messages or video on this device currently, but if I selected this, it would show me a thumbnail and allow me to play that video to preview whatever media. And you can run multiple videos on the device uh, um, as digital signage. Uh, my profile, that just uh, brings me the details I included when I registered this device. And those are the details that also populate the address book in the Survey Manager account. Uh, so if I wanted to push uh, a survey to you know, Morgan Strickland, I would select him from the address book and push to this device. About indicates the version of this particular device app. Um, and exit takes me back to the home page. And if I select the return to my surveys button, it takes me right into the survey. And since we're here, I might as well just step through some of these questions. This is a single response uh, age related question. You notice at the bottom we have the, we have the uh, counter progress and the progress bar itself. So we have two different progress indicators here. So we know where we are in, in the survey at any given time. I'll just step through the picker wheel. Uh, this is a choose all that apply type question. Also, we can include comments adjacent any response and any, any question. Um, and I'll just put it in test for my response. Click next, which takes me to a ranking question. And the ranking question is nice. You can just select and drag in whatever order of importance you wanted to rank your responses. And this is an open-ended question. You'll see here we have camera for image. Um, uh, uh, sound recording or video recording. So if I select the image, it's actually going to bring up the camera. I can take a picture, let's just say, get my finger out of the way, take a picture of my computer screen, uh, and I can go ahead and use that. And it'll give me a thumbnail um, in the question so I can preview it here as well. And um, I'll just click next. So, and there we have a slider bar. And like I said, you can go back through the question and see how a respondent answered their particular questions if you allow that, enable that privilege. Um, and so I click Next, do a Submit, and that's going to upload in real time this particular survey to the survey manager. And there it's completed. Well, we're, since we're here, let's take a look here. I'm going to reduce this, and we have 722, 23 surveys for this survey. I know San Leandro was my location, so I'll just highlight that one location and just do an update count. And yes, indeed. Now, it was five before, and now it's six. I can see my date. Um, and of course, I could run all sorts of reports if I wanted to, but that's, uh, we'll save that for another uh, tutorial. So this concludes the tutorial that really just is meant to focus on how to navigate the Touchpoint mobile survey app's main menu through the admin console. Thank you very much for your time.